Today we play Mario Party Superstars, but I roll a one on the first turn and I roll one higher every single turn. It might help to always know what you'll roll and know exactly where you're going to land, but sometimes it might not be very helpful if you aren't landing on a useful spot. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy this video. I've heard that this fella here really likes to decide the turn order. Turn order. Don't say it too loud. It might rile him up. What did you guys say? Did you say something about the... Maybe we should decide... Turn order! I'm really good at counting! I can count all the way to five! I'm not sure what comes after that! And that is a beautiful start to the game. Luckily for us, we can count higher than five. All right, so it is the first turn of the game. It is turn number one. That means we are going to use our custom dice block to roll just a one. And that means to start the game, we are going to be landing on this event space over here. So there might be a bonus there for most event spaces. So is this going to be like a kind of slow and steady wins the race kind of thing where it's like we start off slow and we save our energy and then we run as fast as possible at that. Oh my goodness, Rosalita starting off with a 10, a humongous number right at the start. What if she just rolls 10 for the entire game? My goodness. Okay, so the star is on the left island. I don't even know if I should go to the left or the right. Okay, Peach got a three. She lands on that blue spot. Next turn, I'm rolling a two, so I'm going to the same spot as Peach. So I already know that there isn't an event space there. Luigi also rolling a 10. What's with these folks and their huge numbers over here? Okay. Oh, wait. Okay, okay. Luigi is going up. I was wondering if he was going to cross. Okay, but everyone is heading up because the star is on the left island right now. I don't know if I should head that way, though. All right, and our mini game is Pokey Pebble. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, you want to mash fast, but not too fast. Three, two... Ah, uh, not great at all. Oh, it's funny. We have the fastest, the slowest from left to right. Yeah, not great at all. Not even sub five. That was pretty poor over there. I wanted to be careful to not mash too quickly, but maybe I actually ended up mashing too slowly because of that. But hey, that's all right. That's all right. Under six seconds. Good enough to beat the CPUs. Okay, turn number two. And this is going to be easy to keep track of. I can just look at what turn number it is, and then that's the number that I have to roll. If it's turn two, that means roll a two. So we just land on a regular blue space over here. Oh, nice, and we're actually in first place, but we don't know what's going to happen with the stars. Rosalina's 14 away, rolls a five. Okay, so it looks like she isn't rolling a 10 every single turn. Spends 12 coins on a custom dice block, of course. Pretty big purchase for her. But she does land on a lucky space, so she might get a lot of those coins back. She gets 10 coins, so she gets almost all those coins back. She can already almost afford this star. What about Peach? You got the lowest roll so far. And she gets just a 5 again. Okay, what if all the CPUs roll 5 stuff? So oh, Peach lands on an event space. That means the star is going back to the right island over here. You know what? I might go to the right then. I think if I go to the right, I think that might be a good idea. Because even if I don't get the star, I might be able to pass by the boo, which might be good. Okay, and Luigi's heading up here. He spends only three coins. He gets a mushroom or a cursed dice block. He gets a cursed dice block. Oh, man, that could be evil. But wait, if he uses the cursed dice block on me, that would do literally nothing since I am using a custom dice block every single turn. So the cursed dice block would have no effect on me no matter what. And our mini game is Tread Carefully, one of my favorite mini games of all time. Okay, and let's go for Rosalina first because she is the highest difficulty. So she is who I am most worried about. There we go. And... Yeah, we got her. Okay, who's next? Who's next? Let's try to sneak a shot out at Peach here. Let's see. Let's go like this. Okay, one shot on her. Oh, where are you going, Peach? Oh, my goodness. Luigi took out Peach over there. Luigi, do you want to have a truce, bro? Nah, I don't want to have a truce. Luigi, Luigi, Luigi. So silly. The easiest CPU. He's just shooting at that pipe there. He's like, eh, this is a pipe. Is this a pipe, Mario? All right, it is now turn number three. So that means that we are, of course, going to roll a three over here. And let's see, where is that going to bring us? Are we getting anywhere nice? We are purposefully avoiding the lucky spaces, it looks like. Man, you don't really land on any good spaces so far. I wonder if we'll land on, like, a Bowser space? Or maybe we could also land on chance time? I wonder what kind of spaces you would land on if you roll, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on every single turn, if you roll one higher every turn. 
Okay, Peach spends 12 coins on a custom dice block also. Very often when I play this game, I like to go up first to the shop so that I could buy an item because there might be a bonus star for most items purchased. Man, a lot of people are getting 10s in this game. Oh no! Ah, uh, that might actually be okay though. Okay, the star goes back to the left island. Everyone is about to reach it. But nobody can afford it yet. Hold on, what minigame do we have? It's a four-player minigame. Rosalina is three coins away. Wait, don't be Parasol Plummet. It's Parasol Plummet, no! Now they're all going to be able to afford this star. That's not good. Oh, man. And even if I chose to... Wait. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to reach this star no matter what I do. Oh, no. At least not yet. Unless I can, like, stop everyone from getting all of the coins. That's the only way that I can, uh... That's the only way that I can do okay here. Okay, wait, where's the money bag? There it is, very nice. Where's that? Give me that. Move Luigi, move Luigi, move Luigi. Nice, thank you. Okay, at least we are getting a lot of coins. I guess that's one nice benefit of this. No, 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 no. Don't want you- Rosalina, stop getting those money bags. Okay, and that's pretty good. We got 42, that's a lot of coins. Luigi got only three, Luigi got only three coins. Wait, does that mean that he can't afford the star? Luigi's one coin short of the star. Everyone can afford a star except for Luigi. I can buy and steal a star. So hopefully that comes in handy for later in the game. All right, it is turn four, so let's do a four. And now we have an interesting choice. Do we choose to go to the right? or choose to go up. You know what? We are going to have a lot of big rolls later on. So I might even go up. Let's go up. Let's try this. I don't know if the star is going to stay on this side of the island by the time that we reach it, but maybe we will be able to get it. If we can, that'd be nice. Okay, Rosalina chooses to roll an eight over here. So she is passing by the star, but wait, what kind of spot does she land on? Is she, She's not purposefully landing on an event space to send the star away, is she? Oh my goodness, she is! She is! Rosalina is actually an evil genius. She buys the star and goes far enough to land on an event space to send the star away from everybody. That is so evil. Oh my goodness, Rosalina is an evil mastermind. Okay, Peach, what do you do? Peach gets a seven. So, it is possible that the star comes back to the left island by the time that I am able to reach the star. Imagine if I use the custom dice block to send the star away from me. That'd be very sad. It isn't that unlucky for Luigi because, well, he wouldn't have been able to afford the star anyways. But, oh, actually, he has to give almost all of his coins to Bowser. So that is actually kind of sad. Poor Luigi. All right, and now it is everyone versus Rosalina. So now maybe people will want revenge on Rosalina for what she just did, but it is hide and sneak. The last time that I played this game, I was the one. I was the one person against the three CPUs. I picked tree stump and everyone was behind the tree stump and I got them all out in the first round. So let's see what happens here. I'm behind the bushes. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, Mario and Peach were behind the bushes. Okay, now, it is just Luigi, the easy CPU. So let's see. Will Rosalina be able to get Luigi or will he survive two rounds and win for us? Okay, okay, Rosalina didn't get Luigi. Luigi, if you can survive this final round, 50-50 chance, assuming that this game really is 50-50 right now. If Luigi wins, everyone gets coins except for Rosalina. I hope she doesn't catch Luigi. Please tell me Luigi isn't behind that. No, it came down to the final round, but Rosalina won. Winner. Look at her little wand that she spins around there. I've got to play Super Mario Galaxy. I've got to play Super Mario Sunshine. And when I'm done that, I'll start with the Galaxy series. That is my plan. All right, turn five. So that means that we are, of course, rolling a five over here and from the item shop, let's buy an item, even though we can't keep the item because we have all custom dice blocks. Just buying an item, just because there might be a bonus star for who purchases the most items. And so far, I think maybe everyone has one item purchased so far. Oh, and we actually land on a lucky space. This is like the first very nice space that we actually landed on. Oh great, we get a warp block that we can't even use. That's fantastic. All right, Rosalina, let's see, where do you go? You roll a two, a nice small number, and there's nothing special on that spot over there because we've landed there before and there wasn't anything. Peach, what about you? Oh, she's also passing by Bowser. Too bad that she didn't land on the event space. 
Wait, she's not going to land on event streets. Oh my goodness, minus 18 coins. She also gives almost all of her coins to Bowser. This is very sad. Bowser took a lot of coins from Luigi last turn and from Peach this turn. If Peach rolled one more and she got to the event space, that would have been amazing. Okay, Luigi, what about you? Are you landing on the event space? Another 10! What's with everyone rolling all these 10s over here? What is going on? And he gets 10 coins and he lands on this blue spot here. Ah, uh, if he could have gotten an 11 somehow, like if he had a mushroom or a double or triple dice block. If he got 11, then he would have landed on the event space. I need the star to come back to the left island. Okay, trace race. Oh, and this is a pretty tricky one. Sometimes it's not this tricky. Sometimes where you have to go for trace race is more straightforward. But this one looks a bit trickier than normal. Sometimes there are some tricky ones like this. Let's see. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, this circle part is one of the hardest parts. All right, let's see, how are we doing? Oh boy, I don't know if that was a mistake there. I think that might have been a mistake there. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's go up here. Okay, then down here. Oh boy, did I make a mistake? Uh, let's see, let's see, go down. Okay, how did we do, how did we do? What is our score? Hopefully we did all right. We probably did good enough to beat the CPUs, but let's see what our score is. 96, okay, not bad, not bad. A few little mistakes, but 96 is good enough. Oh, and that was a bonus minigame, so that's 20 coins for us. Okay, and it's the last five turns now. Rosalina is in first place, so let's see who is going to be given a gift, because they usually give a gift to someone in second, third, or fourth, I'm pretty sure. Okay, Peach, of course. Princess Peach in last place. She isn't even the easiest CPU. They give her a gold pipe, because they don't want Princess Peach to be in last place. All right, it is turn six now, so that means that we have to, of course, roll a six over here, and let's see, where does that bring us? Probably close to the event space. Okay, right before the event space. Okay, I need one person to land on an event space this turn. Please, someone, anyone, anyone. It could be anyone. If anyone lands on an event space, I will be very, very happy. Okay, Rosalina passes by the thwomp, but she doesn't reach the event space. She's on a lucky space. Please, someone, someone, anyone, please. Okay, she gets seven coins now. She can afford to steal a star, but nobody else has any stars. Peach, roll a one. That'd be amazing. Please roll a one. Oh, custom dice block, roll a one, get a one, get a one, come on. Seven. Does that bring you to an event space? I don't think that she would do that, right? She wouldn't use a custom dice block to land on an event space that's far away. Oh, oh, she wants to duel Luigi, okay. Okay, and uh, 15 coins, and Peach is higher difficulty than Luigi. Peach is like, I'm not going to be in last place anymore. Take this, Luigi. And does she win? Yeah, Peach wins, Luigi loses, so all those coins go to Peach over here. And she gets another six for landing on the blue, so she's up to 40 coins. Luigi has only two coins, roll a one and go up. Ah, oh, man, a three, oh no. That means next turn, I'm passing by Bowser. Yeah, there's no way around it, unfortunately. I know what is happening, but I cannot escape my fate. It is my destiny to roll a seven next turn and pass by Bowser instead of collecting a star, which is very sad. Maybe if we get very lucky, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, move, 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 move. Maybe if we get very lucky, oh, wow, I'm actually surprised that Peach is out first. She isn't the easiest CPU, but she is out first. Move penguins, move penguins, move penguins, move club penguin. Oh my goodness, Luigi's the easiest CPU, but he survived the longest and Rosalina was the hardest CPU and she was out second. That's very surprising. Was Luigi doing absolutely nothing? Is that why he did so well? Because there's this meme, Luigi wins by doing absolutely nothing. Maybe that's how Luigi did so well there. So unfortunately for us, we have to roll a seven right now. So we are rolling a seven, 25 away from the star. If the star stays on the right island, then we should be able to reach the star by the end of the game. But we pay only 16 coins. It's funny that the other CPUs, they had to pay 18 coins to Bowser, but I only have to pay 16 coins. It's funny, I have so many coins, but I'm not paying that many. All right, and, oh, oh, I thought that we would be landing on the event space. Okay, but we're right before the event space. Rosalina's seven from the star rolls a four. So she lands on the lucky space and she doesn't get the next star yet. But over here, she gets a cursed dice block. She's so close to this star over there. Wait, and Peach might be able to use the gold pipe right now, will she? Let's see. Of course she's using it! 
Man, this is very interesting. Okay, so two CPUs are going to have stars now, and I don't have a single star. It looks like... Oh, oh, and Peach rolls just a one. It looks like with this strategy, with the strategy of roll one, then two, then three, then four, it's very luck dependent if you do well. I'd also like to do the opposite of this, where I roll 10 the first turn, and then I do nine, eight, seven, six every turn I roll one less. It's like Mario gets slower and slower. All right, now what's happening to Luigi? Wait, he's probably gonna buy another item now, right? Updated inventory. Okay, but he spent seven coins for a warp block, so if Rosalina doesn't reach the star next turn again, then Luigi might use the warp block and he might swap spots with her. But hey, oh man, I wouldn't want to swap spots with Luigi because that would completely throw off my plan. That would be not good. All right, our mini game is Paths of Peril. I've been really lucky with this one recently. Hopefully that luck can continue. Hopefully we can keep doing well. Okay, so let's go this way. Let's go up. Be careful to not fall. Be careful to not fall. Just make our way up here. Let's go left again. Oh, now there's a bridge. Okay. Be careful with these winding paths over here. Oh, oh, and is that the end? Yeah, there we go with 41 seconds left. Not bad. Okay, Peach is falling quite a bit, it looks like. Where are these guys going? Okay, Rosalina finishes with about 34, 35 seconds left. Oh, it looks like Luigi chose a long path and Peach is in third here. So it's me first, then the hardest CPU, then the middle CPU, then the easiest CPU. But man, look at all these coins I've got! But what do I have to show for it? I don't have any stars! Mario doesn't have any friends! What is going to be happening? Okay, so we want to roll an 8 right now, because it is turn number 8. Wait a minute, and we're 18 from the star, so that means we roll a 9 next turn. So next turn we're actually not reaching the star. But we're reaching the star the turn after that, on the final turn of the game, assuming that the star still is going to be there. Oh, now what way do I go? I could go up to the event space and bring the star back to the left island, and that would prevent Rosalina from getting a star. It would potentially prevent Rosalina from getting a star. Or I could go here and pass by the boo, most likely. I'm gonna do this. I'll take the risk. And... There also might be a bonus star for who lands on the most red spaces, but man, look at this! It's like, we're eight turns into the game, we've got 116 coins, but we still don't have a single star yet. Okay, what is she using? Cursed dice block on me. Okay, that doesn't matter because I have a custom dice block so I could roll whatever I want every turn anyways. Yeah, what are you- get a one or two. A nine! A nine! Okay, so Rosalina gets a second star. This is scary! She might be winning this game. Maybe we can come back. Maybe we could steal a star from her. Maybe we could buy a star and steal a star. That would be the ideal situation. Wait, what is she doing now? Stealing coins? Probably from me, right? I didn't see. Oh, from Peach. Okay, that's really interesting. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, no. Peach already bought the star. She's already passed the star, so that doesn't matter too much. But now Peach might be passing by the boo. Custom dice block. What are you going to roll? Don't roll a one. Don't, don't. Okay, a seven. So she's probably passing by the boo, right? Yeah, passing by the boo. Stealing coins from Rosalina. Stealing some coins back. She stole 11 coins. So Peach got back her coins and more. And she's on an item space. Will she get an item? She gets a cursed dice block. Man, so many cursed dice blocks in this game. Luigi's got cursed dice blocks. Peach's got a cursed dice block. Luigi just rolls normally. Rolls a 10. How many 10s has Luigi rolled in this game? I think that's his third 10 already. And he's passing by Bowser again. Oh my goodness, but he has to pay all of his coins to Bowser. That's so sad. Luigi's in fourth place with literally no coins and no stars. He has three items though. He has three very trolly items. He's got two cursed dice blocks and a warp block. And from the lucky space he gets, hopefully some coins. He gets 17 coins. Good for him for finally getting some coins. And he could get some more coins for passing by the Koopa Troop if he rolls at least a 2 next turn. I'm rolling a 9 next turn, so I am going to be right in front of the star, but not reaching the star. Okay, squared away. It is everyone versus me, so everyone wants to squish me. I am going to be in this little block over here. And I want to stay away from the others. Okay, let's stay near Luigi, because Luigi should be a not difficult CPU. I'm a bit scared of the others. Go! Go! Okay, good, good, good. Good thing that Luigi wasn't a harder CPU, or that would have been scary. Okay, let's go down here. Let's go down this way now. Let's go up this way now. Oh, you know what? I'm going back here. I'm going back here. Where are you going, Peach? I'm going here. Sorry, Peach. 
Okay, just a few more seconds to go. I'll stay up at this corner. They won't reach me here, will they? I won't even move. I'm putting down the controller. They can't reach me. Yeah, there we go. Oh, man. If Luigi was a harder CPU, he probably could have reached me there if I didn't move. But very luckily, we won this one. All right, this is so sad, and this pains me to do this. But we have to do this because these are the rules. We are 10 away from the star, but it is turn 9, so that means that we have to roll a 9. If the star moves away this turn, that'd be very sad. Yeah, and we land on a red space, too. The CPUs are probably like, Mario, what in the world are you doing? Why are you doing that? Oh, nice, a versus space. It'd be nice if I could win this and win even more of their coins. And it's nice that everyone actually has quite a few coins. It's nice that there aren't any freeloaders who aren't uh, paying any taxes over here. Okay, but luckily everyone pays in a tax. Luigi doesn't pay in his full share of taxes over here because he didn't earn enough, so that's okay. And the minigame is hot rope jump. Okay, if I make a mistake, this minigame is not forgiving at all. You could, like, get out in the first round if you make a mistake, if you don't play right. I actually haven't played this minigame in so long. I have gotten some good scores in the past in this. Like, I think I've gotten over a hundred. But, uh, sometimes if you make a mistake, you can just get out very, very suddenly. Okay, there's Luigi. Okay, and there's Peach. What about Rosalina? Whoa! Whoa, that one actually almost got me. Okay. Let's be careful here. Let's be careful. Let's just jump! Oh boy, I thought I jumped too early. How are we doing? How are we doing? I'm scared that there's gonna be like two fast ones in a row. Okay, whoop. Let's see. I'm surprised that Rosalina is still okay. Oh boy, oh boy. There we, th okay, I'm like, wait, 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 I thought she was out. Is it gonna keep going? I was about to say, there we go. But yes, there we go, we got it. My palms are sweaty now. I'm nervous about how that went. Look at this, 165 coins. We've got so many coins, but we have no stars to show for it. Okay, but next turn, worst case scenario, we only pass by the boo and steal a star. Best case scenario, we buy a star and steal a star. Oh, uh, actually, uh, Bowser coin revolution here would be pretty bad because then all of our coins would be split equally. That would be very bad, actually. Not Bowser Revolution, anything but that. Okay, thank goodness. I was so worried that it would stop all that. Okay, Bowser minigame. Okay, so we might lose some coins if we don't do well in the minigame, but that's all right. Okay. So whoever is eliminated, whoever either falls off or gets hit by Bowser or gets burned. Oh, there's Peach. Whoever falls off or gets eliminated or gets burned loses 10 coins. If you survive the entire time, then you don't lose any coins. Let's see. Okay. Now it's just me. It's just me. I have to survive for the rest of the time. Where are you going, Bowser, bro? Bowser, bro, where are you going, Bowser, bro? Are you gonna... Are you gonna do some running and stuff? Oh, I'm right on the edge. I've gotta be careful. Be care Where's Bowser, bro, going? Where's Bowser, bro, going? Don't run at me, bro! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, that was so scary! Not only because he was so close, but it was right at the end. I'm so lucky that we survived that. Oh, and Luigi doesn't have to pay anything because he doesn't have any coins. All right, now where's Luigi going? Just don't warp block me. Don't warp block me. Thank you, bro. Thank you so much, bro. Wait, 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 wait. Is he landing on the bench space? Bro! Oh, man, that's so sad. This star moves over to the next island. Okay, what's our mini game? Dungeon Dash. Okay, I didn't see who we were with because my alarm went off. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm with Princess Peach, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hopefully we can play well. Let's go, Princess Peach, we're gonna go fast, we're gonna go fast, we are like Sonic, we are Team Sonic right here, that is our name. Can I squeeze under, are we fast enough to squeeze under? Ah, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm already walking into the thwomp, I'm ready to start walking. Let's go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Look at that! They didn't even make it past the thwomp and we're already out of here. Okay, it's the final turn of the game. Very unfortunately for us, we are passing by Bowser again, so we are not even passing by a single star in this game. We haven't purchased a single star, but luckily we did well in... Okay, great, we have to give Bowser 17 coins. Luckily for us, we did win a lot of mini games. We did earn a lot of coins, so very luckily we can steal a star. 
and Rosalina is in first place. So we are, of course, going to be stealing a star from her. So it's turn 10, so we rolled a 10. I'm not sure if I did say that, but we're stealing a star from Rosalina. That does bring us into first place right now, but we are reliant on the bonus stars to win. It will all come down to the bonus stars to see who wins, unless like someone goes to chance time and something crazy happens there. But there we go, turn 10. It took until the final turn of the game to get our first star, and we land on an event space, so the star goes back to the right island over here. Can anyone even reach that star now? I think maybe nobody can reach that star. Yeah, Rosalina's 19 away, rolls an 8, but where's she heading? Wait. Oh, I was wondering if it's chance time. Okay, but it's just an item space, because I know chance time is down there somewhere. Peach might reach chance time. She gets a 7. Okay, she's not reaching chance time. She's passing by it. Just a normal blue spot. Don't be a hidden block. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. So, everyone except for Luigi has one star, and Luigi has zero stars. He's in fourth place with zero stars and ten coins. Okay, but he gets 15 more coins. It's funny that you start the game with zero stars and ten coins, and that's what Luigi had in the final turn before getting some more coins from the Lucky Space. And we are finishing off the game with a four-player minigame, and then it all comes down to the bonus stars. And we're playing a kind of luck-based minigame. I want the gold ones. Gold ones, come here. Man, look at all of the Goombas that were over by Luigi. I don't have many Goombas here at all. Yeah, they, I didn't have any good moments. I, maybe I could have waited a bit more. Man, Rosalina's got a gold one in there. She probably wins this one. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. How are we doing? Wait, did I win? Oh my goodness. I didn't think that was good at all. There are so many moments where there were a lot of Goombas by Luigi. It's like he purposefully waited. Luigi's like, eh, Mario, I don't want to capture the Goombas. All right, now let's see. It all comes down to the bonus stars. Who is going to be the winner? Everyone except for Luigi has one star. The first bonus is... Minigame bonus, yes. Yes, 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 yes. That's definitely Mario. Definitely Mario. 100% Mario. There we go. Ah, oh, man, I think that might cement our place in the history books as the winner of this challenge. Second one is eventful bonus. Wait, is that us we have landed on? I think two or three event spaces. That might also be Mario. Let's see, is that Mario? Mario and Luigi. Okay, Mario and Luigi. Hey, Luigi gets his star. Congratulations, Luigi. I don't know if that brings Luigi out of last place because Luigi was in last place before this. But now all the CPUs have one star and I have three stars. Who's in last? Peach is in last place! Even though she isn't the easiest CPU, Peach is in last place. Luigi's bonus star brought him into third place. Then Rosalina, the hardest CPU, is in second place. But Mario wins. This was a super interesting challenge. I enjoyed this challenge a lot. If you guys would be interested in seeing me do the same thing, but backwards, like where you roll 10 the first turn and then you roll one less every turn, let me know what board you'd like to see me do that challenge on. I really recommend my video where we use a super board block every single turn in Mario Party Superstars. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day ahead of you. And take care, everybody.